grade 5 math number 8.1 dividing fractions and whole numbers using number lines and models when we divide a whole number by a fraction the quotient will be bigger than the dividend 3 divided by 1 6 the quotient is going to be bigger than the 3 than the dividend when we divide a fraction by a whole number the other way around, see this is whole number by fraction, this is fraction by whole number, the quotient will be smaller than the dividend. Two-thirds divided by four, the quotient is going to be smaller than two-thirds. See? So remember, the first number is the dividend, the one you're dividing it by is the divisor, and the answer is the quotient. Emma hiked a 10-mile trail she stopped to drink water every two and a half miles. How many times did Emma stop to drink water? So we make a number line that goes to 10 miles, and we skip count every two and a half. And then we find out how many times we skipped. We skipped four times. So we know that 10 divided by two and a half is four. We can check by inverse operation because Inverse means opposite, and the opposite of division is multiplication. So we're going to go 4 times 2 and a half, and if it equals 10, we did it right. 4 times 2 and a half. That's 4 over 1 times 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 5 halves. 4 times 5 is 20. 1 times 2 is 2. 20 over 2 is equal to 10 miles. We did it correctly. Very good. All right, Tala shared half of her candy bar with three friends. What fraction of the candy bar did each friend get? Well, we cut the candy bar in half, and this is the part she shared with the three friends. If we split this into three parts, we can see that this side should have been split into three parts too. That means there would have been six parts. If there's six parts and each friend got one of them, they each got one-sixth. So think, if half of it is split into three, then the whole thing is six parts. See? They each got one-sixth, which was half of it. When we have three divided by one-fifth, we can use bar models, and we make three whole ones, the green ones, one, two, three, and we line up one-fifth fraction bars underneath it that have they're split into five see so the three full ones will total 15 of the ones split into fives we count how many one-fifth units fit all the way across to the three and we see that it's 15 so three divided by one-fifth is 15 here we've got one-sixth divided by three so I made a bar right here that had been divided into six pieces. See that? The green part is one-sixth colored in. See? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is one-sixth of the bar. If I split this green bar part right here into three pieces, one, two, three, how much would one of them be? See? It's saying to take one six and split it into three. So this green part needs to be split into three. Well, if I split them all into three, I would have 18 little pieces. So one of these would be one eighteenth. One sixth divided by three is one eighteenth. So that's how we can use number lines and models to help us divide fractions and whole numbers. And remember this rule because it'll help you in case you make a mistake on a test or homework that you'll be able to catch it and say, uh-oh, something's wrong because it was supposed to be bigger or smaller than the dividend. So when the whole number is first, then the quotient's going to be bigger than the whole number. If the fraction is first, then the quotient's going to be smaller than the fraction. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.